I realized this year in a very special way how important my Mexican roots and this tradition was to me because it has been so comforting, you know, and I wonder how I would be coping. I didn't even was raised super religiously, but I have this tradition that is more of like a cultural thing of my upbringing that right now I'm really grasping onto. And it's, it's such a blessing, honestly, to have. It feels extremely comforting. I do feel a connection with my dad. I do feel like I'm, you know, serving him food right now and uh, with these offerings. The, um, the offerings consist of things that my dad used to love. Uh, in this case, he loved Mexican sweet bread and coffee. He also liked uh, tequila or mezcal. I put him a little tequila. That? He was extremely passionate about his craft, uh, about his art. Living in an um, elderly home, they were very, very strict about visitors and outings. He didn't die of COVID, but uh, me and my brother said this exact same thing that it was the pandemic that killed him ultimately. And the reason we say that is that he was very isolated. It was just really hard. It was hard to get him to get motivated by just video calls. It wasn't enough. Unfortunately, right now with the pandemic, I don't think that there's going to be much visits coming here. Uh, so at least it's been nice to be able to share with my family uh, the photos of our altars with one another.